and welcome to Your Business TV, television with information that's positive and uplifting. My name is Laura Hartman, and I am your host. Today, we have a wonderful guest joining us who is a hairdresser and esthetician. She's going to help bring some beauty tips and advice for all of us today, men and women. So without further ado, please welcome to the show, Kathy Giselle Moser. Welcome to the show, Kathy. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, this is this is great. I think there are a lot of men and women out there that need your advice. So let's go ahead and first... How did you, you know, because I introduced you as a, like a hairstylist and esthetician, how did you get involved in that or what made you want to go into that field? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so um, I started education with hairstyling, cosmetology, actually when I was in high school. Oh, wow. Okay. I got out of high school. I basically went and got my, took my state board for my hairstylist license and I started working right away. I knew what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, I, I just kind of dove in right, right when I was done with high school. Okay. So how many years did you do hair? And, and speaking of high school, we went to high school together. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I graduated with your sister. And I know I remember that there was like a like a hair school or a beauty school that that our school was involved with with doing that. I don't know if they do that anymore. Yeah, you know, I feel so fortunate that I was able to do that. And in, in high school, they did offer the classes, mm -hmm. but I do know that now they, they don't. So oh, they don't. Wow. So, yeah. you know, yeah. so I was able to do it just with my, you know, high school education. And like I said, I just, wow. I just started working right away in the, you know, in my hometown. Right. Right. That's great. So then you got into skincare and going to, to school for that. So tell us about that. Yeah. So, you know, I, um, was a hairstylist at a very young age and I absolutely love my job. I mean, you know, to be in this industry, you really do need to love what you do, you know, communicating with, you know, clientele, you know, keeping up with continuing education with, you know, being a hairstylist. Sure. I absolutely loved it. One of the most gratifying things I think of being a hairstylist and esthetician is that you are helping people feel good about themselves. I mean, I just, yes. you know, I just absolutely love it. You know, somebody gets out of your chair, has a huge smile on their face, and you were a part of that. So yeah, about 10 years ago, I went through a really difficult time in my life and I needed to find something that I could offer my clients more and make a little bit more income. Okay. So I went back to school. I had I was a single mom, I had a full-time job doing hair, and I went to aesthetic school part-time. It took me a year to get through it, but I was able to offer skincare to my clients too. So it was just uh, great. I mean, I were, was working in a salon where they offered that. And yeah, I just was super interested in that as well. Yeah. But, and there's probably, a, there's a lot of salons that offer the hair and the nail and the skincare and the lashes and the whole work. So yeah. So you, you ended up moving down to Florida. So yeah. tell us about your big move and how you, you know, went from, I'm sure you had years of, of customers that you kept back here or, you know, in Virginia where I live and um, then had to like start from scratch down in, in Florida. Yeah. So it's, you know, very different here in Florida than Virginia. I did leave a huge full base clientele to come down to Florida and start a new life with my husband. I just got married a year ago. Congratulations. <laughs> I um, looked at different salons down here and I couldn't really find a good match. So I decided to open my own little studio down in my basement and I got off to a really good start. I've only been living here for a year. Okay. Um, my neighborhood was super supportive, but then COVID hit and all that disappeared. And 
you know, it's a hard industry right now. A lot of people are backing off, going and, and getting their hair done, their, you know, facials. Um, it's a very close connection working with a client that way. Right. right. So um, I decided to offer skincare and beauty tips and wellness with my clients and friends online. And that's been a you know, something that I'm not, you know, um, have knowledge about, but I have, it, it's been working out wonderful for me. Oh, yeah. Great. So with COVID, I know, at least for a while, nobody was going to any salons or, you know, or doing any hair, people were doing it themselves. And there's a lot of videos online where you have hair stylists, like watching the average, you know, person doing their hair. And, and he's, you know, giving like tips or advice or, you know, saying, wow, you did great. So there's been a lot of people doing their own stuff. So I'm sure with that happening, people are more apt to like reach out to you to, you know, to get tips or to watch your tips on Facebook and to try stuff on their own, you know? Absolutely. You know, it's like, you know, I'm able to share, you know, tips and um, products on my Facebook page. And not only that, you know, my clientele that is in Virginia, um, Mm -hmm. I've been doing, you know, some zoom consultations with them, you know, being able to see this and and recommending products that way. Right, right. So I mean, that's, that's great. Because like in zoom, especially with their video feature, you can actually see pretty well, I'm sure their skin type, (laughs) you know, and give them good recommendations. So speaking of skin, let's get into like some ingredients and products. So I think in the past few years, or, you know, at least I have, I look to products that have more natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always had, you know, somewhat like sensitive skin, but I'm, I'm, you know, I feel better if there's more natural ingredients than, you know, non, (laughs) you know, natural ingredients. So, so why don't you tell us like, what is you know, what's the latest and greatest, what actually is good, uh, what should people not be doing? And also, you know, let's get into discussing how like COVID is for people that work from home, like myself, you know, I've been a little more relaxed about skincare. And so, you know, how can that become a problem? (laughs) All right. Yeah, Um, sure. So there's uh, clearly, you know, there's so many different skin types, you know, for example, you saying you have sensitive skin, you know, you want to stay away or you want to look for products that have, you know, paraben free. Um, A lot of people like products that are vegan, lots of clean ingredients. And that is also good for like people with acneic skin, kind of keeping it simple. I always kind of go with, you know, if you look on the back of a it's, I think it's kind of the same thing with, you know, food ingredients. It's, I think it's the same thing with skin ingredients. You know, if there's a ton of ingredients in there and you're looking for something natural, that's probably not the, the pro- skincare line for you, the product for you. You know, I am 53. So I do have a, a, a large part of my client base is for aging skin. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like to look for some active ingredients in some some of my skincare, like, you know, vitamin C, that's really good for evening out your skin tone, making your skin look bright. Hyaluronic is really good for plumping your skin. Um, The hydrolonic acid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hyaluronic. Yep. You want to look for, you know, one of my favorite products right now has ethosin in it, and that's really good for... Um, firming and smoothing out your skin. It produces elastin in your skin. So what, was that, what was that called? Sorry. <laughs> Ethosin? Ethosin. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that produces elastin in your skin. So as we age, our skin gets a little looser. So this is going to help promote elastin in your skin to um, uh, deliver firmness. So Number one ingredient, you know, I'm living here in Florida and you really want to, um, especially your um, daily moisturizers, you want SPF. You know, I know that's not like a super exciting ingredient, but you really, we all need to have knowledge about that. You want UVB, UVA protection, and another really important one, 
especially right now with our kids going to school online, uh-huh. is UVB. You know, that's protecting your skin from blue light. You know, that can be very damaging oh. to your skin too. So on your phone, you know, our, our kids are, you know, on the computer a lot. So wow. I, I never really heard about that one. <laughs> and I'm on the computer all the time. <laughs> yeah. So, so- yeah, that's a little bit of new, you know, science and technology to kind of look at out for in our skincare. Wow. Well, that that's, you know, pretty fascinating about UVB. I mean, that's totally mm-hmm. new. And, you know, I'm on the computer all the time. So, um, so, you know, I just ordered some products from you. And mm-hmm. do th- those uh, products that I order from you have you know, protection. I, I know that I do have the UVA one, but what um, do you, you do sell the ones for the UVB as well? Yeah. Yes, we do. Or do yeah, they combine the two? Do they combine it? Or like, should you do like, you know, if you know you're going to be indoors one day, use the UVB and you're going to be on the computer or if you're going to be outside, use the UVA or is it all like combined? I, yeah, the, the ones that you have, it's, it is kind of separate. Like if you do know you that you're going to be in front of a computer all day long. Okay. Use the one for the blue light. Um, okay. and then, I, you know, me and I need that. Time. I need mm-hmm. that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I work in, I, I work in IT full time. I'm in front of the computer all the time. So, yeah. wow. And, okay. So your skincare line too is a very clean um, skincare line. It's a vegan. Right. Okay gluten-free, you know, so it really fits with people that have sensitive skin, if um, they have allergies to certain things. Yes. Yeah. I think you are really, I think you're really going to like that line. Yeah. Well, I've already tried the, you know, like the facial wash and the toner and, you know, so I've been, you know, the last couple of days trying that out since I just got it. So, I I mean, so far so good. And hopefully we'll see like a big improvement in the next month or so, or however long it takes to... (laughs) to show, especially with like the firming stuff. I need the, I need all the firming I can get. <laughs> <laughs> as we, as we age, we all need that. I know. Well, you know, I'm like, I'm 55. So it's like, ah, oh, you know, so anyway, I, I mean, I'm, I'm appreciative that like, I, you know, I came across you on Facebook just because, you know, you went to the same high school, but it's good to get educated in this. And especially, you know, like I was saying in COVID, like I've just been so relaxed, like just not even, you know, I'll wash my face with soap and water and that's it and not moisturize. <laughs> so when people do that, like me, or like what I was, was doing before, what problems can arise if it's just soap and water and you don't do any, anything? I think, you know, many people are experiencing like, you know, getting off their daily routines and skincare is one of them. Yeah. Um, you know, I would encourage people to, you know, we, even though that we're, we're home, you know, I think there's so many things that we can think about for self care and, you know, skincare is one of them. Um, you know, I think if, you know, you get out of your routine, you're going to, you're going to notice your skin kind of getting, you know, dull looking. I have had so many of my clients, especially in the last three months, ask me, how do I get my glow back? You know, yeah. Um, you know, keep up with using your SPF. A lot of people kind of are discouraged to exfoliate and, you know, you can over exfoliate, but if you do it, you know, twice a week and get rid of those dead skin cells on the surface, you know, we want to continue um, to do that. And another thing that I think is really important and I try to encourage people, it's not only, you know, using your skincare, it's taking care of your bodies within you, you know, eating. Yes. You know, healthy foods, making sure that you're drinking enough water to hydrate your skin. And, you know, another thing with um, everything that's happening in the world today is some people, you know, this can be a really depressing time for some people. But um, I think also, I mean, it's, you know, it's beauty within. Uh It's beauty with, you know, how we think, you know, trying to keep positive and being kind. And then there's beauty with, taking care of our skin with products as well. Sure. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Now, what about, I think that like foods make a difference too. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, you know, know, all your carrots and blueberries and strawberries, um, a lot of your um, bright colored um, 
fruits and vegetables okay. um, will bring a glow to your skin as well. What, what about like nuts? Cause I know like in the past, like I, there was one point and I should probably get back to doing this, but I was like nuts and berries and water, you know, that was like I, my snack. That was my go-to snack. And like I, after doing that for a while, people were like commenting on my skin Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. and I, wasn't, I mean, I wasn't thinking that I was doing anything, but I think it does really have, you know, it has a lot to do with it as well. You know? Absolutely. You know, you've got, there's so many antioxidants and vitamin C and, you know, in so many different um, fruits and vegetables. So again, you know, what we're consuming is going to show on the outside as well. If we eat a bunch of, you know, you know, junk food. And I'm not saying that I don't, I don't ever do that, but if right. we nourish our bodies with, you know, things that are, are going to help our bodies within, it's going to show on the outside as well. Sure. Sure. Yeah. It also probably make you feel better too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, cause I mean, eating, if you're eating junk food over and over and over, it's going to, you know, make you feel worse, you know? And I think, yeah. I think we've all been through that, you know, where we've had our times where whether you've been through like a breakup or, you know, work stuff and you're just like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. So, so you don't just do the products that you sell, you sell like the, um, you know, those little roller things. I've seen the roller, roller things for the face. Can you tell us what that is? Cause I haven't got a clue. I haven't really looked into that. I'm not one of those follower of skincare, no offense. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, but is that like, is that like something to really have? And then you have like these things that people put for like their chin, you know, to, mm-hmm. you know, to give themselves a facelift and you know, yeah. so a couple different um, skincare devices that um, I absolutely love. This skincare device, the head on it rotates in opposite directions, uh-huh. and it's flat and it uh, it's made out of silicone, so it doesn't harbor any bacteria. But the head on the skincare device that I use is um, it connects with your skin, causing a very gentle lifting and dropping effect. Okay. All the toxins and dirt out of your skin and dropping in anti-ingredients of your cleanser. So what does that mean? It means that, you know, you're stimulating collagen, um, you're cleaning out all the toxins and dirt out of your skin. It shrinks pore size. I absolutely love it. It's been kind of like a game changer for me. And a lot of my clients have noticed huge, wonderful results with it. So do you use it like before you wash your skin? So it's like where, you know, you have a dirty face, even with makeup and you just like rolling your face. (laughs) Yeah. So, you know, a couple people do it, uh, you know, um, different ways. If you, you know, if, you have a lot of makeup on your, you know, you can do one cleanse. And then when you use the facial device, you use a cleanser that goes with it specific to your oh, skin. Oh, so you put the cleanser on the rolling device on it. Okay. I wasn't in the pictures and what I've seen online, it looks just like a little roller, like you're massaging your face and like, there's nothing else to it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, makes, that makes more sense then. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It, it works. It, the, the cleanser and the facial device work okay. together. So like a, so use the, a, a clean, I'm sorry, a cleanse, like a cleansing brush. You know, like you have those little electronic brushes where you use like a scrubber, use that. Yeah, it's not a scrubber. It. There's no bristles on it. Bristles okay. can be very harmful okay. um, to your okay. skin. Can, they actually do more harm than good. Oh. Um, like I said, this is just something, this is a head made out of silicone. Okay. With, it's hard for me to explain. I don't have it with me right now, but like I said, it rotates in opposite directions and that causes it, it to gently connect with your skin. So okay. it's actually, you know, it's cleaning wow. toxins, it's stimulating collagen, it's shrinking your pore size, it's creating volume. Okay. So over time, using this device, you use it two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night, it, it's it's actually- It makes a big difference. It really does. And the other wow. one that we're talking about is a microcurrent device. So okay. the microcurrent connects with the fluid in your skin. So that is basically kind of retraining the underneath muscle in your skin. So you actually see results using this microcurrent device okay. after the, your very first use. So that's really for you know um, lifting and, and toning your skin. 
amazing, amazing. I use that twice a week and I wow. use my, uh, my facial device every day. Okay. Those are things I'm going to have to look into. Yeah. <laughs> those will be my next purchases from you. Great too, because, you know, I did, you know, facials for 10 years. It's so nice to be able to offer somebody that they can do at home in the convenience of their home. So and, yeah. stupid question. So like if, if you have these devices at home and you're using all the products, then what's going to be the, you know, is that going to take away you know, clientele from going to salons. Although, although I think people still want to be pampered, you know. Absolutely. I mean, there's a huge difference between, I mean, like you think about washing your hair and then, you know, you doing it, let alone some, you know, going into a hair salon and having somebody wash your hair it feels completely different. It's the same thing with taking care of your skin and, you know, being pampered. And, sure. You know, it might right now, it has given me an opportunity financially and being able to help my clientele with being able to take care of their skin right now. Yeah. So I, you know, my gosh, I was in the salon for 33 years. I, I hope that all does get back to normal for people. I think it will, but right now it's been a really good thing for me and my clientele. Sure. Sure. And, and also the comfort of being in your own home, own home to be able to talk to you virtually online, like on zoom and right. say, Hey, <laughs> you know, and it's, it also gives you more privacy. You know, so I think that that's a, that's a plus, that's a bonus, right? Absolutely. For, for me and for my, you know, my clientele, you know, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, it's okay. just, you know, it's still very an intimate conversation about, you know, skincare. Sure. So, sure. Yeah. So let's talk about collagen. Okay. Cause you know, I think that's been in the news lately or like in the past year or so for like bone, but also like skin. So is that one of the products that you sell? And you know, on commercials, you hear that a lot of the reasons for people getting wrinkles is because they're, you know, they're losing collagen, like the natural collagen that's you know, produced in your body. So do you recommend, you know, people taking collagen to help with that and other part, you know, other parts of your body? Yeah. So um, me personally, I do not um, offer that, but do I think it's super, super important? Absolutely. Do I take collagen every single day? Absolutely. Oh. And yeah, I would love to, you know, share, you know, I don't, what brand um, I've used a lot of different ones. And I came across one that I absolutely love. I use it in my coffee every single day. And oh, wow. I think it's super important because that you're a hundred percent right. As we get older, we lose collagen. When that happens, we lose, you know, elasticity in our skin and, you know, with this, you know, that causes sagging and, you know, that glow again, you know, right. To so yeah. do you think that, you know, it's something that like somebody in their 20s and 30s and 40s should start taking or like when is a point, you know, when is a good point where people should start taking collagen if they, if they choose to do so? Yeah, my personal opinion, I would say, you know, I think that's, and I, I shouldn't, I'm not speaking so much for men, you know. I know women start losing collagen when they go through like premenopause, you know, that's when I started using it. I don't know, um, you know, technically if I could say, you know, whether a 20 year old, I, you know, I have right, a right. year old daughter, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend her to take collagen right now. You okay. know, she's not lacking it. Okay. Right. So it, it's, it could be based upon hormones and then that, case probably for men like in their 40s mm -hmm. yeah so probably the same for both you yeah know, I, I guess when that. people when men men start balding and <laughs> right right <laughs> <laughs> not to pick on the guys not to pick on the guys and um and speaking of the guys I, i'm i imagine that you have some tips for men because i mean men's skin is going to be different than women's right that's right so men's skin is just, you know, basically it's, it's tougher than, than women, you know, they don't wrinkle like we do. Um, our skin is more delicate. So with men, um, I have actually had a lot of men since I've been here in Florida, I had a lot of clients 
that were men that came in for facials. Um, they were concerned about their skin, but then of course they like like the pampering as well. Yeah. Um, but I would say for men, the number one thing I would say is using SPF and exfoliate, you okay. know, and use, you know, a lot of men will just use bars of soap. I know my husband was guilty of that. And <laughs> <laughs> I had to, uh, you know, educate him on how important it is to use, you know, good skincare. So, okay. All right. Speaking of bars of soap, you know, I, in the back of my mind, you know, even though I, you know, I use your cleanser and the toner and everything else. And in the back of my mind, it just feels like I'm not going to get clean unless I use soap. <laughs> and I, I've always had that mindset, even though I know the cleanser is a cleanser and it's going to clean my skin. But do you find other people, they have that train of thought? Um, or am I the, or am I the only one? <laughs> you're definitely not the only one. You know, I come across, you know, um, like the younger generation will get into that kind of habit. Although I think a lot of the younger ge generation is definitely into clean ingredients. Yeah. I love. Um, and then the older generation that will say they're using, you know, Dove soap. Um, that can be very harsh on your skin, you know. So, I, you know. But I, I totally get, I totally get with you, what you're saying about, you know, right. you get a few habits and it's like, okay, well, and I think when you do make that switch is when you notice a change in right. your skin, yeah. you know, there's no, there's no active ingredients in a bar of soap that's going to help with aging skin. Sure. You know, yeah. There's no vitamin C in a bar of soap. There's no, you know active ingredients that are, it's going to help you with acne in a bar of soap. Um, that's my opinion. Um, but yeah. yeah. Well, that makes, I mean, it's a solid, you know, or even yeah. liquid where they, I mean, what, what about like essential oils or like, you, like the type of soaps that I've bought and have been like the ones that are made with like apricot or, you know, mm -hmm. coconut. Um, then I, I tend to buy more natural. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah. Now, when I say that, okay, so uh, there's bars of soap that are for your body. Right. And then there's bars of soap with what you're saying is for your face with natural ingredients in it. Like you said, you know, I don't think there's, a, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No. Okay. Okay. It, you know, it's, it's finding something that works with your skin. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, now, speaking of body parts, now, do you, sell like body washes that are like also like anti-aging and you know have the same type of protection you know that you talk for your face yeah um i have a couple um i have some loofras that are really good for exfoliating your skin mm -hmm. um again it's the same thing i, I just talked about you know ex making sure that you exfoliate your your face a couple times a week. I think it's important to do that with your body too, to, you know, get off that, you know, the dead skin cells. So when you do put moisturizer on and stuff, you know, it's, it's going into deeper layers of your skin so you can get that shine back. Um, I also have a couple firming creams that I absolutely love. Um, I use it, you know, on my neck and my arms and, you know, I, I, have not come across very many women that don't need a little bit of firming. And, you know, we all like our skin is more delicate. So yes. you know, that's why in uh, women you see, you know, our little, you know, bumps and cellulite on our legs. So this is a hibiscus firming cream that um, I really like a lot. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any other body, you know, there, I have a lot of, you know, hydrating lotions. I have a body butter that is really good for stretch marks. Um, people that suffer from eczema, babies can use this for diaper rash. And I really like it. There's, and I, I'd have to go back and look, there is an ingredient in it that actually helps with mos mosquitoes. So I'd like to use it here. Oh, in wow. Okay. And I usually don't leave, I keep it in my car. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Now the the mosquito is like a mosquito is like a moisturizer with mosquito. It's repellent. a moisturizer and it is not sold as a mosquito repellent at all. But it repels. Let's keep away. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I need I need that yesterday when I went kayaking. I wasn't expecting mosquitoes, and there was a spot where I was at. There were mosquitoes right before I saw a bear. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> well, you needed other repellents. It sounds yeah, like. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So okay. Well, do you have any other uh, tips for people, or you know, you know, for for you know, for the younger generation, they're going to be looking more for stuff for acne, I guess, but are, is there other stuff that they need to worry about now, you know, in preparation for anti-aging type stuff? I mean, like, you know, when I was 13 and my mom was using oil of Olay, I was like, I need to use that so I don't age yeah. <laughs> at 13, you know? So yeah. not that I kept up with it, but still like, you know, I'm sure, you know, teenagers and young adults, um, I'm, I'm sure they have their own skincare treatment, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, our younger generation, um, like my daughter, you know, she's a college student. They don't, they can't afford a lot of, you know, high end skincare lines and it doesn't need to be that way. I offer skincare products for everybody's skin type and everybody's budget. Okay. Um, one thing, a, a huge message out to the younger generation is you need to use SPF. And I, re I, you know, I remember, you know, when I was a teenager, I, I never used it. And I know. We, used, we used baby oil back then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, you know, in today's world is talked about a lot more. So I think the young, younger generation is getting better about that, but, but I they still, still they have a lot to learn. You know, you, you, you don't think about, you know, 20 years and, you know, what is my skin going to look like? But you will not regret it if right. you continue to use SPF. Okay. Speaking of skin damage, because I, I mean, I've got a lot of freckles from being in the sun too much in my past, also her, hereditary. But so do you have products for skin damage? Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I mean, and what can, what are signs that people can look for that they do have, have sun damage? You know, mm -hmm. is it just like the age spots or what else? Right. I mean, there's so many different types of hyperpigmentation that people, you know, um, women that are pregnant get a condition and don't, I think it's called melasma. And that's, you know, that's very, you know, noticeable. Sometimes it goes away after pregnancy, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so and then that you've got age spots from, you know, just aging, and then you've got spots from being in the sun. Right? Um, yes. Yeah, so you want to look for active ingredients in products that can help with evening out your skin tone. Usually with something like that, though, is you know, you need to continue to use that. And that's where, you know, med spas and stuff come in where they can do deeper treatments for you. But okay. skincare can definitely help to, to lighten that, um, okay. Okay. Lighten your skin tone. Yeah. And, that, and that could even include, I know, I mean, I have some friends who were on birth control pills for years. And wow. so it puts like those big splotches on their faces. So... You know, and that, I, you know, it's bad enough that people have to, you know, especially women worry, have all these insecurities about, you know, how we look. So, so products like yours can really help, you know. Oh, yeah, I've had great results with what I use and so have my clients. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So for people who have gone through like had skin cancer, um, we've talked about preventative, but what about like post skin cancer? You have products that will be more sensitive to their skin needs, especially if they've been through like chemo or radiation, all that. Yeah, I think, um, you know, because I have a couple clients that have gone through cancer and going through chemo, you know, you have to be, they have to be careful with, you know, ingredients that are going to would have any kind of alteration to their skin with what they're experiencing with chemo. Sure. So that's, 
definitely when I doesn't matter what age, you know, to keep up with their skincare regimen, I would just recommend something with all clean ingredients. Okay. Yeah. Until they're in, you know, until they're, they're through it and then, and then, you know, they can get into, you know, something else that would be a recommendation. Right. And, and also just cause I, I have an aunt who had skin cancer and I know a couple other people that had skin cancer. So just like with other types of cancer, when you go through chemo, it can change your hair. Yeah. It also changes your skin type or it can change like your, you know, you always, have, maybe you had like, you know, normal skin all your life. And then all of a sudden your skin's like dry or oily, you know, that's right. That's right. I mean, so many different side effects, you know, and everybody has different side effects. Um, but yeah, you know, with the skin cancer, you know, that that would be, you know, something that they would have to follow from their doctor. But sure. if somebody came to me that was going through skin cancer, any kind of cancer that had, you know, um, being on medication, you know, whatever, I would just stick with clean ingredients. Got it. Got in it. your care line. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been great and very informative. Oh, good, good. You yeah. know, there's nothing more I like talking about. Well, I shouldn't say I, mean, I, have, kids, I have my husband, <laughs> but I love skincare. I love beauty and wellness. And I, again, I just, it's so gratifying. Right. And, and it definitely shows on you because you're so beautiful and, and radiant and, you know, I want to be that way. <laughs> so, um, so I'm glad I ordered the products from you, but where can people find out, you know, more about you, maybe make an appointment uh, virtually online to talk about their skin issues so you can help them? Absolutely. So my biggest uh, clientele base and where you can reach me is on my beauty and wellness page. It's beauty and wellness with Catherine. And that is on Facebook. And okay. my main Facebook page is Kathy Jershley Moser. Okay. You'll see that up on the screen so people can contact you. So, yeah, and, 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 and can people, can people email you or? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Or message you on Facebook to, you know, anything my okay. you know, anybody can you know reach out to me with my cell phone anything i'm happy to help anybody okay well great well thank you thank you so much you All have right. a good day yeah you too thank you